world that's right here in writing, but it might be one that you aren't aware of. If a new sanitary sewer line is put in within 100 feet of your property line, you're required to connect. And that's putting at least one homeowner in a pinch. So personally, I am looking at between 30 and $50,000 of my own personal cost. That's the estimate a general contractor is giving Lori Doherty for how much it would cost to connect to a new sewer line. The people who live on West 71st Street near Lafayette Road rely on septic systems, but Doherty's new neighbor is petitioning for sewers. We receive a permit application. We look at it through the lens of our standards and assuming that we receive all the documentation and the project meets our standards, then we would proceed with the permit issuance. The Health and Hospital Corporation of Marion County Code outlines the 100-foot rule. It states that property owners within that distance of a sewer line becoming available must abandon their current disposal system and connect within six months of the line being built. And our driveway is very, very long. We have a lot of trees. The distance that we're going to have to run the line is, is very long. Homeowners are on the hook to hire their own contractors to install the line running from their house to the new sewer main. All homeowners required to connect split up and cover the total cost of construction for the new main. They must each pay a connection fee of a little more than $2,700. Terrible. Terrible. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't have my rainy day fund of thirty to fifty thousand dollars sitting around to pay the county to put in a sewer system that I don't need. Citizens hasn't issued a permit yet for the new sewer line. A spokeswoman confirms to us citizens is waiting for additional documentation from the applicant. Katie Hines, RTV6.